Hello geniuses and welcome back to the channel. So today it's an exciting day because we're talking about something that majority of us have had to experience and many of us have learned the hard way. I have learned this the hard way. So today I am going to be talking about how to avoid being broke. Okay, especially for you ladies out there, I feel that going to school is important and it's great, but there's only so much you learn in school and a lot of times they don't really teach you about finance. And when I say finance, I mean the real finance, the day-to-day -day life, how you live your life, how to save money, and how to simply avoid going broke. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. So I'm just going to be straight up. I have personally experienced this. Like I have gone through a time in my life where I felt like I was living the life, I was enjoying my life, and everything was just perfect. And then all of a sudden, it seems like everything just came crashing down. So here are some things that I did to actually improve my lifestyle and improve my life and just avoid any kind of excess spending. First is to learn about impulse spending okay i know we love to shop i am such a shopaholic i am going to admit that but i am starting to learn that i have to be strategic with the things that i buy especially like when i go to the store i like to be specific i look at my closet and i think to myself what is something that i can add to my closet to improve my look and improve my lifestyle and that is what i shop for i don't go around the store buying every little cute thing that looks good because at the end of the day when you put it on it might just not look that good on you or you might get tired of wearing it or it might not be the greatest quality because it's just not what you intend to buy and it just might not fit your closet so look at your closet and look through everything that you have and find things that would match your personality and match the things that you have in your closet like the things you already have in your closet Secondly is eating out frequently I love to go to a nice fancy restaurant and have whatever I want but I have had to learn this the hard way because it's expensive to go to these restaurants they're not like cheap the food is amazing it's like five star meals so you have to learn a way to actually enjoy these pleasures of life without actually breaking your bank so some of the ways that I do this is I look for applications that allow me to review the, the food that I eat. For example, I am a model, so that might be different for a lot of you. But if you are a model, there are options, okay? There are literally apps that will allow you to go to this fancy and expensive restaurant and eat whatever you want. And all you have to do is post a video on Instagram saying how much you love the meal. Of course, if you love the meal. And most of the time... You will love the meal okay and if you are not a model there are apps out there there is I forgot the name of this app but when I do remember in this video I'm just going to put it somewhere around here but there are apps out there that you could literally use to like go out and eat whatever you want or experience whatever events that you want to experience and not have to pay the full price like they literally will give you discounts on these apps or even give you the food for free and i have some of my favorite places in the city that i go to that i just walk in there and they already know that i'm here and they're going to give me the best service and all i have to do is post them on instagram and just talk about how much i love you know the food because usually i love the food okay so go ahead and do the research around where you you leave because sometimes these apps varies from city to cities these are the things that many influencers do many content creators do they go to these fancy places and you think oh my god they're spending all this money on all this fancy food but not really they're using these applications to the advantage and it's a win-win for the restaurant because anyways people are still getting to know the restaurant from their direct page thirdly is you need to stop okay neglecting budgeting Budgeting is absolutely important and you need to stop neglecting this, okay? You have to budget for everything that you do. And remember to track your expenses, okay? If you're going to have a set limit, if you're going to go out and splurge on yourself, have a setting limit that you are not going to go past and make sure to stick to that limit. At the end of the day, things can get really expensive fast because you didn't even budget and you didn't plan on what your limits are going to be, what exactly you're preparing to buy, or what you're preparing to spend for whatever activities or experiences that you enjoy. And the fourth way that I have learned is to avoid paying full price for anything, okay? Where I come from, we negotiate everything. So when I came to this country and I realized you go to the store and everything is set price and you can't negotiate anything, I'm like, that is very suspicious, okay? So make sure that when you're 
shopping, go to stores, go to farmers markets, go to markets where you could negotiate things and negotiate prices of things. That way you're not paying full price for anything. So try to avoid going to stores with set prices and go to stores where you could re renegotiate and get better deals for the things that you want. And the fifth way is to avoid always buying brand name stuff. A lot of this brand name stuff are just what it is. They're just brand names. This It doesn't make them better than a different store that you might purchase things from with the same exact same quality. So try to look for generic brands that are good quality and purchase from these generic brands. There are tons of stores that literally sell brand name stuff but they sell them on discounts. So look for these kinds of stores or look for look around your city for stores that have really great quality materials, really great quality product and avoid the brand names. Honestly, you're literally like a walking billboard. The brands are not paying you to advertise their brand. Don't try to follow many of the people you see online that have brand name stuff all over their pages. They're like a freaking billboard and they're not being paid for it. So avoid it and look for a good generic place or a generic store where you could buy generic things with good quality because you have to remember just because you're avoiding brand name doesn't mean that you go for something with low quality. So look for good quality things but things that are actually way less expensive than the actual brand name stuff and there are tons of online stores like this especially with TikTok you can find really great quality outfits without having to spend money for the brand and advertise the brand without being paid to advertise the brand and the sixth way is to remember to track your subscriptions okay have you ever woken up one morning and you look on your bank account and it seemed like all of these subscriptions have been paid for without your notice yeah it happened to me a lot of times so now I have a designated card that I use to track all my subscriptions and I put certain amount of money in the card so every time a subscription is being paid for it goes it, it gets paid from the card and if it gets declined I can always choose to cancel the subscription and I don't have to feel like all of these companies and apps are stealing money from me because they are technically stealing money from you that's why they get you in the subscription because a lot of times once you subscribe to something you forget about it and they know that that's why they do this that's why they do subscription because they just want to be able to leech off of you and get as much money as they can get out of you without your knowledge so make sure that you're tracking all of your subscription if possible write them all down and write down the dates and put that in your reminder of the day they're supposed to be paid for and make sure that you're actually ready for the payment before it goes through and don't subscribe to every single thing you can subscribe to things and if you need them at the moment subscribe to them and unsubscribe you don't need that you don't always need many of the subscription forever okay so try to track all of your subscriptions and that will save you so much money and also you don't have to wake up with a headache and the last thing I wanted to point out today is as a woman you need to have a provider man in your life, okay? If you are dating someone and they're up there doing nothing for you and you're giving them all of your energy and you are getting nothing in return, it's a waste of time, okay? Because at the end of the day, if you have a husband or you have a boyfriend, he's not providing for you and doing the things that he needs to do as a man for you, you are not improving his life. He doesn't really like you. I'm just going to be straight up about it. He doesn't really like you. Men that like you want to be there for you. They want to be your backbone. They want to be a man for you. So show him how to be a man by allowing him provide for you. I know some of us, we work, we have our jobs and we're like, oh, I don't need anyone to like pay for me. I don't need anyone to like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a boss babe. I get it. I am a boss babe. I have a business. But also if I'm dating a man, he has to be a man. Where I come from, that is how the culture is. I know the culture in every place is different but don't allow anybody like take advantage of your energy without actually doing something in return this is real life like you give you take you give you take don't always be a giver and not get anything in return it's just what it is okay so learn to surround yourself with men that actually care about you that will provide for you that will provide the necessities that you need in your life and if he's not gonna do it move on someone else will do it and as a man make sure that you have a woman that is inspiring you to do better in your life because if you have a woman that just allow you to be lame and lazy you are not going to achieve much in your life okay so find a woman that would inspire you that would 
instill things inside of you the fire inside of you to want to be a better man to want to be a better man not just for her but for the society for your children you want to teach your children these things you want to teach them to be real men so as a man if you're going to be with a woman be around a woman that is going to inspire you have high expectations for you to be the man that you can truly be this is really really important for us as women and men if a woman is not inspiring you is not pushing you is not bringing out that fire in you to want to be a better man then you need another woman okay find a woman you can provide for and a woman that can instill this fire in you and you will totally love your life i hope this video is helpful to some of you today because i am about to head out to the golf course i'm gonna go play some golf i don't know i don't know i don't know how to play golf but I will be learning how to play golf so that should be really fun I just thought you know what I'm gonna do this quick video before I head out and look how cute my outfit is I mean look at this oh, oh, it's so pretty okay I feel so good today so I'm gonna be doing a fun event that I am going to enjoy I did play golf before you know when I was in Palm Springs, I remember, I don't know what I was doing, I was just hitting the ball. So that's probably what I'm going to do today. I'm going to hit the ball, sip on some champagne, meet some exciting people, and just, you know, enjoy the day. So I hope you enjoy your day. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box or send it to my Instagram because many of my questions come from Instagram. And also, subscribe to the channel. You know, I always remind you please do that because you don't want to miss my video click that notification bell I have a video every week as you can see I've been posting every week bringing you some really great great topics to talk about and you know it would just be good for you that you don't miss any of my videos so click that notification bell subscribe to the channel and I hope you have a good day bye